everyone, Kimberly Berg here in the Rebel Fit Club. Today we're going to work a little bit more on our rotation, but we're not going to use any props today because everything we need we have right here. So we're going to start out with our jazz hands. And so jazz hands means our fingers are as far apart as we can get them. So maybe we start out with just some open finger flicks just to get our fingers limbered up and open wide. Okay, so you want to spread them out as far as you can. And maybe if they're kind of rounded like this, we even take them and open them up that way. So we want to really get them wide as we can. And then we're going to start out by bringing one hand out, jazz hand, at the end. The hand should be as high as our shoulder. We're going to rotate around, match it with this other hand. So our jazz hands come together. We're going to paint a Cross our body. Now you're going to pretend like you have something written on the palm of your hand because your hand is going to come cross your eyes. You're going to follow your hand with your head and bring it up. You're going to bring it across, paint up, pretend like you have something written on the palm of your hand and flick it up. Bring it across. Do this with your breathing. So you can kind of see how many different systems that works. So when you're rotating, you're rotating your upper back, keep your knees straight. You're rotating up here, your fingers are wide apart so there's lots of energy going out. You're keeping this energy high. You're watching with your eyes, so neurologically that's good. You're watching your hand, you're turning your head, and then fast, and then slow, bring it across, and fast. Bring it around. So you see how you get the slowness, the fastness, you get rotation in your neck, your upper back, bring it across. Good. Lots of energy, very big extension of your arms, and you're working several systems. So this is a great exercise to do if you're watching TV or anything. You just want to open up. It feels really good to your body, and it's working that rotation. We had talked about this before that the more rotation you can get in your upper back, the less likely your low back is going to hurt because they work together and it's the job of the upper back to do the rotation. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button below or go to our website at rebelfitclub.com and subscribe to my weekly blog filled with great exercise tips and tricks to help you manage your Parkinson's. There's also a questionnaire on our website. You can fill that out. I'm happy to get back to you personally and answer any questions you may have about your personal journey with Parkinson's and how exercise can help. If you're interested in virtual exercise programming, we have seven days a week, live, not pre-recorded, exercise classes, boxing, stretching, boot camps, whatever you're looking for. Each day is different. You will never get bored and you can take more than one class a day. That's also available. We're happy to get back to you and answer any questions about that. And we're also opening up our gyms sh uh, very shortly here at the Rebel Fit Club. Thank you so much for listening and go forth and conquer.